Welcome to day 152 of our Big Cloud journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian. And there's a lot going on in the last day, Brian. You know, we've seen um, the tutorial came out yesterday. It's funny, we were just talking about how we were reviewing the tutorial on GitHub. And that looks like it's coming sometime soon. And <laughs> this morning, I guess it late last night or this morning, it dropped on Big Cloud. Yeah, and, and and I I went through the tutorial. I uh, I I tried it out, and and I really I really think it's going to help with on, the onboarding flow. I, I think that it's going to quickly teach people how to use BitCloud, and that's important because it makes you actually do the actions. So when you go to the tutorial, you're not just reading; you're actually doing, and it kind of makes things more intuitive because people get used to. How, you, how you're supposed to buy and sell coins and they're adding more tutorials as we go so it, it's it's going to be it's going to be an interesting thing to see if it actually increases engagement as well can you shut your phone up so um, it's actually my telegram telegram and so i'm just going to let it keep going all right so the tutorial it covers a few things it covers buying and selling creator coins it covers giving diamonds it covered buying your own coin and it also, like I mentioned yesterday, it automatically is going to reduce your founder reward from 100% to 10% after you buy your own coin. So that, that's interesting. I think it, I, I like it. I think it's a good idea. And it's a good way to teach newbies how to use the platform. And I'm sure there's going to be plenty of other tutorials that release in the future as well. This just covers kind of like the onboarding process and what you need to know to get started. But we could have NFT tutorials. We could have, you know, there's a lot of different tutorials we could have. And yeah. um, something that I, I just heard mentioned was when, when you do the tutorial, it recommends a few accounts. I think it's uh, Elon Musk, um, Darmesh, and Reed. So I think they have to add some people to that, make it some more normal people, not just celeb big cloud celebrities. Um, that would be nice. Uh, but that's left up to the noted men to kind of choose that, choose who they feature, I think. But Elon uh, Musk, is, uh, come on. Elon yeah. Musk isn't even on the platform. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I, yeah, I think we should move on to the other big topic. And that's, of course, the price of BitCloud, the big elephant in the room. Last night, it seems like the support at 100 just was blown past. And we're sitting in the 60s or 70s right now. Uh, this happened after- Actually, at $52 right now. As we wow, that's crazy! This video, fifty two dollars. It's nuts. Um, two big whales sold like back to back. We're not going to mention any names because we don't want to create any rumors or anything. But two of the big whales sold back to back, six figure amounts, and they are very close to one another. So people are questioning, like, do they know something? Um, why are they both selling in unison like that? Did they say, hey, did they reach out to each other and tell each other that they were selling? It's, it's all just rumor. Um, it could just be a coincidence that two people sold. But, but that's kind of what sparked the, uh, the free fall, I guess you could say, in the cloud price. But like we've been saying, I think there's, there's two, two things you have to keep in mind. Look at the technology, not the cloud price, especially in the early going. I mean, Bitcoin was in the 10 cent range in the first five months. So, so just ignore the price right now. Um, if you're buying cloud as an investment, look at it as a gamble. And we've been saying this since day one, this is day 152. Look at it as a gamble. Don't buy any amount of cloud that you don't feel confident, don't feel good losing. If, if you're gonna lose sleep over the price dropping and you losing money, then you probably put too much into it. But look towards the technology. The technology, I think, has a bright future. Um, I think that since it's open source, it can head in all kinds of different directions. Cloud price should be an af afterthought right now. Later on, if this is two years in, then I think the price is going to be more mean meaningful. Well, yeah, and, and like I, I keep saying, I think we're going to see the true price once it hits Coinbase. I, I think that's when we're going to kind of see where it stabilizes that. And who knows, you know, like right now as we're recording, I'm looking at the chart and it's at $53 and six cents on blockchain.com. And, you know, that $100 level has been removed. So it's kind of like a free open market right now. And we're just gonna see where, where it finds price. And, you know, like, I don't think we should, like Brian said, just don't get discouraged over the price because it has to find its 
it had to find supply has to meet demand at some point. We had the we had the hundred dollar buy that was kind of fixing the demand at a hundred dollars. So now that we have everything open, we're going to kind of find the price. And now now it's up to sixty two dollars. So it's really jumping around right now, and it's going to be fun to watch. Yeah, for sure. And and, and I I think that some people are getting discouraged by the price. They're selling off creator coins. They're starting to spread blame and blaming other people for, for the price going down. I think we got to avoid that. Stay positive. Um, if, if you're super negative right now, it's likely that you put too much money into it. Uh, and you might consider taking some off the table. Maybe not now. Maybe wait, wait, so you're encouraging more people to sell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just encouraging people to feel comfortable with what they hold. Yeah. And so, so what else is going on today? We have two interesting chats today at 2 p.m. Eastern time. We're doing another chat in, a, in the Krasenstein building on Chime In. If you check out the Chime In BitCloud account, you can, you can get to the room that way. Again, that's going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And at 9 p.m. Eastern time, we're holding a clubhouse room with Reed. And that's going to be a really, it's going to be a short room. It's going to have a set stage. And we're, we have a few questions we want to, we want to ask him and he's going to be willing to answer. It's going to be a, things going to be a good time. It's going to be very informative. So Robert Graham as well. Robert Graham, yeah, Robert Graham is going to be the well answering question. So it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be a busy day for us. And I think if you're interested in big cloud, you should definitely check out both the chime in room at 2 PM Eastern time and the clubhouse room with Reed and Robert Graham at 9 PM Eastern time tonight. Yeah, and, and I think in both those rooms, I think we're gonna we're gonna talk a whole lot about the technology and what can be improved. We will probably touch on the cloud price, obviously, because it's a big topic today. But I think that we want to concentrate on the tech aspects of things, not the financial aspects right now. Just because, like like we said, I think that the price will catch up to the tech. And if the tech flops, the price is gonna flop. If the tech continues to improve and continues to be developed, I think we're going to see the cloud price follow. So technology is what we're about. All right. I think that would be a good place to leave off day 152. I want to say get well soon to Craig. Craig came down with COVID and he's recovering at home. So get well soon, Craig. Uh, we miss you and hope you do well 